Alrighty, we are starting with map one of the two champs versus five plats. Remaking this video, if you guys have seen my first video, let me know down in the comments because I, I gained a lot of new subscribers from that video. So I, I appreciate all the new viewers coming in from that video. Wanted to remake it for you guys. Uh, this time I got a lot better players for the two champs. I think it's going to be a lot better of a game than that first video. So I wanted to make this video again as it is my most viewed video and you guys really really enjoyed it with all that being said though we're going to be starting on clubhouse we've got the two champ players runner and noodle i mean they are just absolutely insane players but a huge shout out to them for playing i'm gonna have their twitters linked down below in the description so it'd mean a lot to me if you guys would check them out give them a follow they're going way out of their way to record this video with me it's around 3 a.m for them right now and they're taking the time out of their night to record this video so uh I could get some uh, some nice comments for them in, in the comment section. It'd mean a lot to me if you guys want to follow them. Like I said, the links will be in the description. Then we have our five flat players here. Alrighty, so we've got the two champs here. Noodle's going to be picking up that Thermite. And we've got Runner on the Iyana. Good pair for this attacking setup here. Looks like they may try to go for the main wall here. A little bit of a run out coming out from i believe that was thunderbird yeah thunderbird and mozzie so also i want to say uh i apologize that my spectating skills are not good i'm on a 60 percent keyboard so i don't have a numpad um and i have to use my function key for a lot of this so i apologize that it's kind of you know wonky runner on camps here as well as a ui bug nice or a uh visual bug nice Wow, so the first kill coming out from late onto Noodles. That's going to leave Runner in a 1v5 right now. Now, we don't want to count him out just yet. Like I said, this guy is absolutely insane. So we're going to see if we can pick up some kills here. Going to be trying to throw out a nade. We've got one guy pushing out from the garage. Not going to matter, though. Pro Girl Kisser. Who else but Pro Girl Kisser to pick up the last kill onto Runner there. So the first round going to be going... To the plat players that's the first defense round going to them all right so we're having the second round start here unfortunately for the two champ players they did lose one of their drones runner got his drone shot in the prep phase so they're gonna have one less drone to work with blanket taking a lot of damage making these rotate holes but luckily for him they do have pro girl kisser on the thunderbird that being said, we've got Noodle and Runner taking over from the strip side. Looking like they're going to try to clear with the Jackal. First kill coming out from Noodle onto late. Very nice kill by him. And there's another one playing upstairs. Stims is currently playing inside of Kitchen. So hopefully Noodle is going to be able to track him out with those footsteps. Although it is a cav they're going to have to worry about. So if Stims did come into the kitchen with his... Uh, Gadget activated. There's not going to be any footprints for Noodle to track. With that being said, though, Noodle did drone it out. And that's going to be Runner getting an easy kill onto Stims. Now a 2v3. The champs are getting a lot stronger in this round. Runner trying to push down the main stairs right now. Trying to take a bunch of different gunfights. Everything has opened up, though. Too many angles for him to check out. And he's going to get downed right now. Pro Girl Kisser trying to secure that kill the best he can. He's whiffing. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right, that's the kill for him. Noodle going to try to refract down the stairs, but it's not going to happen. DBC picking up a little pistol one tap on the Malusi. Very nice round from the plot players. We did see the champ players were playing that a lot better towards the start. I don't think that runner expected everything to be open like that, which caused him to go down there, which could have been the downfall of that round for them. But All right, so we've got the third round starting right now. And with that... Since the defenders, the uh, plot players had won the first two bomb sites, they are going to be headed on to that third site now. So this could be a little bit easier for the two champs here, Noodle and Runner, to pick up a round. We'll see how they choose to attack this. They're going to be bringing the Sledge on Noodle, and Runner has got the IQ with the G8. Love to see the G8 in play here. Uh, Stims is just currently prone in bar with the shotgun. I'm I'm not I'm not too sure what the strategy is there. If I'm gonna be honest with you, GBC downstairs with him as well. A lot of people seem to be on these main stairs slash bar. Not too sure what's going on with that. With that being said, though, Runner's gonna breach charge that hatch open. Noodle's got a really nice angle here into Lodgy. But besides that, they don't have a Zofia stun or anything like that to knock that shield back. So we could see. 
pro girl kisser being quite a problem for them but with that being said runner's gonna hop in instantly get shot out by blanket it is now a 1v5 once again noodle gonna try to throw a grenade out to that clash not really gonna do anything though the bomb is down in cctv so these defenders all they have to do is hold cctv with that being said noodle gets two kills one with a nade another down onto stims still that clash in play though he knows one's downstairs on that pool window gonna be headed upstairs now try to push in and melee him he might be in for some luck here but it's not gonna happen who are playing inside of the lodgy everything's opened up too many angles for him to clear all right so we've got the first round coming from the champ players here on defense they chose to go to that downstairs bomb site first which is a little bit different from what we saw the plot players do they had actually went to the cctv first now with that being said noodle's gonna try to get a little spawn peek here i believe runner's also trying to get one but it's not gonna happen pro girl kisser with the first frag of this third round onto runner not a great start for the champ players and looks like twitch is already all the way down into blue as well as blanket they just rushed blue and that's going to be a 4-0 coming from the plot players the champ players going down 4-0 ggs in the chat well played to the plot players flawless victory for them and we're going to move on to our second map all right so we're on to map two we're going to be playing on oregon now the champ players had requested that they started on attack for the first map which was clubhouse but for the second map on Oregon here, they had requested to start on defense. And since they had just taken a 4-0 loss and they are at a severe disadvantage with being in a 2v5, I granted them the defense first. So I'm hoping that the defense first is going to help them. All right, so for the first defense round, we've got the two champ players going upstairs. Noodle's going to be rocking that Valkyrie and a runner is going to be on the Thunderbird. Something to note is that runner did use his C4, as you guys can see in the bottom middle there to make one of the rotates so they're going to be down a c4 and we'll see if that affects anything looks like runner might be trying to go for a little bit of a spawn peak gonna fall off that though and looks like stimmed is already all the way in to attic as well as blanket so i don't know if the two camps know about this they do stim's gonna get one kill runner gonna get two though getting a nice little refrag it is now a 1v3 we've got gbc coming in gonna get oh he actually did not get the kill that was actually pro girl kisser with the lmg getting that kill yeah so the problem i'm seeing from the champ players is they're getting they're getting overwhelmed the plot players are rushing and the two champ players don't have enough set up to actually defend against it so we saw that sledge was able to sledge open the wall and attic that was actually soft uh noodle and runner did not reinforce those two walls so we saw stims as sledge able to just sledge that wall walk in with him as well as blanket and then we saw you know all of the other attackers kind of collapse around them. all right so we've got the second round starting here i actually want to take a look at the attackers because i want to see where they're trying to push from here looks like uh doodle is going to try to go for a spawn peak here this is a pretty common peak but it is hard to fight against so i want to see if he gets a kill here he's going to actually gets two kills great shots but he doesn't know that they're pushing up trophy stairs he actually does an amazing three piece coming out from noodle opening up the entire round making it an even 2v2 for the champs oh my god what an amazing play by noodle i was hyping them up at the start of the game and some people in the comments might have been saying there's no way these guys are champ or something but i mean this just shows it. i mean look at noodle with a fourth kill in the round 2v1 for the champs absolutely insane mechanical skill runner coming up for the flank on white stairs gonna pick up that kill onto blanket absolutely amazing shots coming out from noodle all right so round three had just started i again want to see where these attackers are going to be pushing from last time we saw a pretty heavy master take we do have the two defenders going downstairs this round noodle going to be staying on that uh, alibi as well as runner staying on that malusi i actually really like this positioning from runner right now i don't know if the if I, or the attackers know he i had no idea i mean he just got smoked easy kill for runner right there with that being said though blanket is in sight right now and they have full control the two defenders are coming down the stairs right now noodle with an easy kill onto uh blanket there another one swung though and that's going to be a down noodle oh my god almost went huge for the three piece right there uh unfortunate for the two champ players gbc gonna pick up that last kill almost saw noodle go huge there on, again for a back-to-back -back rounds that would have been crazy
All right, so we just had a team kill come out from late onto Blanket. Looks like the plat players might be doing a little bit of trolling, trying to make it fair. Yeah, GVC type in the chat, had to make it fair. So the plat players are getting a little cocky here. I don't know. I think it's still a little bit early to get cocky. It's only 2-1 right now. They're, they really don't have that significant of a lead. They really only have a uh, one round lead. Another team kill coming out from Stins. These guys are just straight up trolling. We have a TK war going on right now between Pro Girl Kisser and Late. And Pro Girl Kisser is going to win that. It's now a 2v2. So the plot players obviously are uh, very cocky right now. They think they got this in the bag. They think they're about to win this 2-0. But we'll see if that's the case. Currently have Noodle and Runner pushing over from the master side and really only Stims on site right now. We've got Pro Girl Kisser all the way by Small Tower. Stims actually about to jump out the White Stairs window. So, uh, could be that Noodle and Runner have site right now. That's going to be a lot of damage going on to Stims. They do have Thunderbird, so he can get healed back up. Stims going to run back to site. Yeah, and there go the Thunderbird. So, Stims is going to be full health once again. So no hard breach coming out from the uh, attackers. Although I think the wall was soft, so Runner was actually able to Ash char or uh, Zofia charge that open. Pro Girl Kisser with a huge flank here, gonna get one kill onto Runner. Noodle getting the refrag. It's now one v one against Stims. Oh, the nade doing a lot of damage. Stims is about one HP. Noodle definitely has the HP advantage here. T4 going out. It's gonna miss from Stims. Noodle just barely missing his shots onto Stims here. Pretty much forced to fall back to these white stairs. Noodle knows this, so he's going to take sight. Still overhealed from the Thinka boost. Does he know that Stim's pushed up to the top of the stairs here? He's got a pistol out. He thinks he can win it, but he's not going to. Noodle going to come in clutch once again for round four. It's going to be 2-2. Two, two. All right, hopefully we don't see another team kill war here. It looks like Blanket and all the other players here are aiming at each other. I don't want them to troll too much. Some people in the comments get mad when the teams troll. Not gonna understand that but uh you know at the same time like realistically you gotta you gotta give the uh the two champs a little bit of a break here because you know even if these were the the two best players in the world it's still gonna be difficult for them to win a 2v5 no matter who they're up against right doesn't matter if they're the worst players in the game or, or what it may be it's still going to be difficult for them siege is a team game and uh Noodle and Runner don't have any teammates to really play off of like the plat players do. So, giving them a little break that round, not too worried about it. Just hope they don't troll too much more going forward. With that being said, going to see a little spawn peek coming out from late. I'm not sure if Noodle knows this or not. Looks like he does. Lots of spawn peek coming out right now from the plat players. Stim's hopping out with a Bashi. No clue where he's going right now. Runner going to get an easy kill on too late. So that's going to be him taken out. And one master door. C4 going out. Shot the C4 out of the air. Nice shot by him. That's going to be Noodle getting taken out by Pro Girl Kisser. Going to get refragged by uh, Runner. Another one is still on the master door. That's going to be Blanket. Trying to pick off Runner. Couldn't quite do it though. Now luckily for Runner, he is basically full HP. So he's got that going for him. At least he didn't get too lit up in those previous gunfights. Now he still has three people to kill. Two of them here, here on white stairs and blanket has retreated into the armory. He doesn't have much info. Looks like he does have one more drone left, so he could try to drone. I'm a little bit worried. He doesn't know that blanket's here and he's going to try to walk up the stairs. He does know though. Nice shot by runner. One actually just jumped outside to the front door. He's going to try to take the one with the person on site. That's going to be GBC rotating back to get the easy kill onto the guy flanking. Couldn't quite do it though, leaving him on 1 HP. That's going to force Stims to rotate back towards site. GBC is uh, about 50 HP right now. Runner still has the HP advantage. Going to swing. Easy kill for him. Now a 1v1. Stims is 1 HP. Far off site. Runner has complete control of site right now as well as the Thunderbirds. And uh, not to mention Stims has a Bosch G and Runner has an LMG. So not quite the gun you want to have against an LMG. I'm not going to lie. That being said, Stim's going to try to flank up through the armory stairs. Maybe something that Runner doesn't expect, but it looks like he, he actually does. Going to throw a drone so Noodle can watch it. Going to be able to give him calls on when Stim's decides to push up. Got to be careful because this attic wall is open. It would be absolutely tragic if he was seen through that wall right there. Wow, Stim's actually able to push very deep here into the attic already. Just tucked in this corner. Looks like Runner's got a decent idea of where he's at. Can't quite pinpoint exactly where. 
Oh, I'm a little bit worried for this. And Runner's going to get the kill. Very nice uh, play by Runner there to close that out. All right, so like I said, the plot players, they got a little cocky. They had their little team kill war, and uh, they thought they were on top of the world because they're coming off that 4-0, and they had the, the uh, one-round lead on the two champ players. But like I said, you do not want to count Noodle and Runner out. These two players are very capable of 1v5ing if they're uh, given the opportunity. I also want to quickly apologize for my awful casting. Um, when I started doing these videos, I didn't really try to, to cast them. But it's kind of turned into that so I, I apologize for putting you guys through however long this video is uh, worth of time of, of me very poorly casting over this game but with that being said uh noodle and runner are going to be pushing in through uh bunker right now runner trying to get this uh head glitch angle wow um stims decided just to hop out that window gonna take a lot of damage for it as well ads is coming out gonna block those nades from noodle unfortunate for him now they do have Thunderbird here on uh, Pro Girl Kisser, so Stims is able to get healed back up, but it looks like he's going out for another run out. He just does not care. He could go get healed up right now, but he's just hungry for these kills right now. Gonna come back down now. Hopefully gonna get the heals for his own sake. And he has getting burnt out now. Gonna try to get rid of that shield and bunker so they're able to push in. Nice shot from Runner and Noodle, both picking up a frag right there. Noodle gonna be aggressively taking bunker right now. Now, they do have Pro Girl Kisser playing on the staircase here. So, that could, could be a problem for them here in a second. Nope, it's not. Easy kill for Runner. Noodle's got full control of Bunker as well. Oh, he, he, he does see him. Nice. Good shot by Noodle. It's now a 2v1. It's all up to Blanket to clutch this out. Or we're going to map 3. Shot's going out, but can't quite hit. Noodle's going to come in and try to plant right now. Runner going to be covering him. Blanket taking a lot of damage. Actually, a nice shot coming out from Blanket. Noodle's going to stick the plant, though. Noodle has a significant HP advantage, as well as, in my opinion, the gun advantage here. So, all Noodle has to do is hit one, maybe two shots, and it is done. Blanket going to be trying to flank around to Bunker. Noodle knows this, though. Going to be pre-aiming it. He actually loses the gunfight. There could be a Claymore. It might not be over just yet. No Claymore. Wow. Great shots coming out from Blanket.LFT. Gonna clutch out the round on match point, saving his team from going to that third map. Wow, he is LFT, by the way. Yeah, pay attention to the chat. Good lord. All right, so just gonna do a little scoreboard check for you guys. I forgot to do that uh, earlier in the game as well as last game, so I apologize for that. But this is what the scoreboard is looking like. Everybody make fun of late R6 in the chat. I want everyone in the comments to comment this exactly. I want to I, I want to see I want to see this comment in the comment section. I will heart your comment if you do this. Everybody respond, it's late R6, aka ATK late is so bad. Please, for the love of God, it will make my entire year if you guys comment that. And I'll I'll do you I'll do you a favor in response. I'll heart your comment. I'll like your comment. Just do that for me. It's, again, it's late R6 aka atk late is so bad please drop that in the comment section it will make me and my friends oh so happy if you were to do so back to the game though looks like noodle and a runner are going to be trying to push in through the bunker again c4 coming out narrowly kills noodle there but he's able to react quick enough to destroy that shots going off the blanket taking a lot of damage here a lot of damage all over from the uh, plot side actually right now. C4 or Valcam going out. What was he thinking with that? That's going to be Stims taking off the board. No idea what he's going to do with a Valcam. He's coming out from Noodle. Might pick up this kill on Smoke here. Not quite. He's able to run back on 1 HP though. He is very, very low. Now, they do have the Thunderbird. I don't understand why these guys won't go get healed. <laughs> it's baffling to me. Well, I guess there's a problem. Your heal is on the soft hatch. So that that's a new one right here. Now... As bad of a play as this is coming from Pro Girl Kisser, I would not be surprised if this is disastrous for the two champ players. Now one champ player is Blanket gets a kill onto Noodle. Runner now in a 1v4. He does have uh, GBC on 1 HP, so that could prove to be very, very good for him. Blanket also being on about 50 HP. Nice shot by him. Wow, I can't even I can't even cast fast enough. Blanket going absolutely huge for the plat team. Gonna pick up that last kill onto Runner. And we are moving on to match point for the Plats now. All right, so this is going to be a big round for our two champ players. They're going to be back on defense here. Going to be picking up that alibi as well as the Malusi. It's worked well for them before. Hopefully, for their sake, it works well for them again. 
because if the plat players do win this round it is ggs that is going to be a 2-0 victory for the plat players now i do have to say the champs did pull off uh a lot more rounds here when they started on defense so i in my personal opinion i think if they had started on defense before on clubhouse things would have went a little bit differently on that map maybe they wouldn't have won but i feel like they would have got a couple extra rounds with that being said though if you guys have been enjoying this video so far uh please consider liking the video it really does help out the algorithm shows the video to more people it would mean a lot to me subscribe if you're new to the channel turn notifications on i post daily videos here on the channel so you don't want to miss any videos like this uh, as like i said i do post daily uh, now, with that being said, we have got Finca running in right now with a shotgun, actually. Runner missing a lot of shots. Going to pick up the kill, though. That's going to be Stims getting taken off the board. Now, we still have GBC as well as Blanket pushing in here through the main stairs. Could end up killing Runner here. Another kill from Noodle on to late. Remember to comment, it's late R6, a.k.a. ATK late is so bad. He is currently 0-7. Would make my year. Uh, looks like the... Attackers are all running shotguns right now, and poor Runner is just stuck down here. That's going to be Noodle getting taken out. This does not look good for the champ players at all. They've actually got Pro Girl Kisser with a shotgun holding the flank, and Runner does not know about it. That's going to be GG's for the Plat players. That's going to be a 2-0 victory coming out from the Plat players. GG's. Taking a look at the scoreboard here, we've got It's Late R6, aka ATK Late, going 0-7. No surprise there. I hope I see lots of comments about that in the uh, in, in the comment section. Would mean an absolute ton to me if I saw that. But that is the overall scoreboard, and GG's to these guys. All right, so uh, these guys had graciously, graciously agreed to do a third map just for fun. The Plats did win, so if you guys were looking for the result of the video, the Plats did win in a 2-0 fashion, but... Everybody agreed they're having fun. We want to play one last map. So if you guys are here, I uh, made it this far in the video. Like I said, I do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I hope you guys are commenting about how bad late is in the comment section. All right, so we've got round one of Coastline. Uh, the two champ players are starting on defense and starting with a bang. That's going to be Noodle picking up an easy kill on the blanket. An instant kill at that. That was uh, insane. Now, GBC here did request that I spectate him this round, and he even said trust. So, uh, I'm I'm absolutely dying to see what sort of gameplay he's got for us right now. So far, it's what every single plat player does. They sit on ruins until there's 15 seconds left and then complain to their team why they lost. And he's actually going to get a crazy kill. That's going to be Runner getting taken down. So, now it is just Noodle, who is now dead to late. late. Picking up his first kill and possibly three maps can you guys believe it oh my goodness let's go all right so round two is starting here first round did go to the plat players i am i am not sure what stims is doing here i mean he he is certainly quick peeking i'm not sure I'm not sure what exactly he is quick peeking at but he is he is doing it so props to him uh, we have Runner and uh, Noodle on both Alibi and Malusi. Runner is going to pick up an easy kill on the Pro Girl Kisser, who just decided to drone in front of the doorway. Um, Uh-oh. Stim sees that Noodle is right here behind this bar. I don't know if Noodle knows that the guy's on the window. He does not. Stim's going to pick up an easy kill because of that. Wow, he was getting pinched from a lot of different angles. There were four people down here. With that being said, Runner is going to pick up a nice kill on to late nades going out and not going to connect runner is all the way back by pool table they are trying to floor bang him i i don't know if that's what their goal is wow stim's actually with a ballsy repel here runner's going to pick up an easy kill onto him no clue what we're thinking there gentlemen that was not the repel uh, if i do say so myself Runner has a suspicion that someone is in luggage right now, which is going to be Blanket. He's going to swing, get an easy kill onto him. It is now a 1v1 against GBC. Wallbane's going out. Runner's going to swing, runs out of ammo. He does have the HP advantage here. Wow. Okay, GBC decided to sprint out with a pistol. That's going to be a nice ace coming out from Runner. Nice shots to him. Pick it up that second round for the champs. All right, so round number three is starting here. We've got uh, the champs on their last defense round here. I'm getting sidetracked all the all chat talk. I'm not going to lie. We're going to try to do a little run out. Not going to get anything with it. Narrowly missing some shots by Stims, who's rocking the Twitch DMR. 
love the 417 that gun is actually really good wow impact going out gonna damage late picking up his uh second kill across three maps good on him pick up his third kill across three maps late late going huge oh my goodness well played by him gonna take out both noodle and runner yeah they're just rushing sight and uh it is it is not going well for the champs i'm not gonna lie the malusi is good because it's slowing them down but they don't really have anyone to follow up on it is, is what i'm seeing but with that being said that's the last round for the champs on defense and they are going to start on attack so we shall see how this goes for them uh interesting strategy coming up for the plot players here it looks like they got blanket trying to box everybody in behind this counter uh with all of the thunderbirds so i mean not a bad shot i guess i, I i'm interested to see how this works now, one thing I'm worried about for them is Noodle has nades, and if he sees this, one nade is going to fly out here, and, well, everyone is going to die to one grenade. So, that'll be interesting. Maybe we'll see uh, a little ace grenade. That would be pretty cool to see. Blanket going to get team killed as well as late. All right, so it is now a 2v3. The plot players, once again, get a little bit cocky. They did this last time they were up 2-1, and then they ended up losing. I think they tried team killing everyone who wasn't in their little corner here runner gonna drone he thinks sight's clear but little does he know there is a uh, quite quite the uh fortitude here where's noodle noodle is in lobby okay so i don't think runner has any idea of what's about to happen to him unfortunately i think runner dies here yeah he he is stunned oh here comes the grenade i talked about before two grenades going out now by noodle there goes their zombies a lot of damage being taken out noodle uh, I can't even keep up. BBC picking up two kills. There goes Runner and Noodle. All in one kill cam. Here it is. Nice shots by him. That is match point for the plot players. Wow. There's a little update on the game right now. So uh, round four has, or round five actually has started now. Lee is currently asking if he gets kills, will the champs follow him on Twitter? So you're seeing just how down bad Lee is. With that being said, Stims with, I mean, honestly, an insane shot onto Runner. DBC picking up a pistol spawn kill onto Noodle as well. I mean, honestly, you you kind of have to you kind of have to give respect to the uh, the the plats right there. That was that was crazy.